Hey guys, J.R. Raymond here back again at the training center at TurboTech in Chesterfield, Michigan. I got a cool little tool here I want to show you and we're going to talk a little bit about axis rotation and how to change that on command. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about axis rotation today. Axis rotation is that trick you do, that thing you do with your hand to create side spin. Okay, so how much side spin you have determines how strong the ball is going to come off of the friction or the dry boards that are down lane or to the right if you're in league. Okay, so a lot of people complain and say, man, I, I can't stop spinning it. My ball goes crazy and it just hooks like mad down lane. Uh, and then you have the opposite. You have people that's like, man, I can't get my ball to hook. How can I get my ball to see friction a little bit better and make better motion going through the pins? So. We need to try and understand both sides and see what we can do to help both sides to get it. So down here I have a ball and we're going to look at this like a clock, okay? So down here I have a ball with two knobs on the end, which this is your axis, all right? And this is going to demonstrate how a ball rolls. If my hand's in the ball and I'm straight like this, looking at the palm of my hand facing this way. So if this is 12 o'clock up here where my hand is, bring it this way, this is six o'clock and vice versa, three o'clock, nine o'clock on this side, okay? My hand is at 12 o'clock. These would be the people who say, I can't get my ball to hook. I need to get more spin on the ball. I need to increase my axis rotation. How do I do that? Thinking about our hand like a clock, all you have to do is try to finish with your hand facing towards a, a higher number. So the higher the number, or I'm sorry, if you face towards like say 9 o'clock, which would be here, you would then have about a 90 degree axis rotation. That would be an extreme result. That would be extreme spin. Okay, You go in between and finish at like say 5, 5.30 um, or, or 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere in there. As you move this way towards up the clock, you get uh, closer to that 45 degree range and then back to noon is, or 12 o'clock, is your zero degrees. So as somebody who rolls it dead straight this way and our hand comes through the back of the ball like this, if we want more rotation, we just need to get our hand to finish here. So we talk about playing the inside part of the ball and going here, and then we need to finish going this way. So that frisbee motion going here like this. So that's how you turn it inside. Opposite is true for somebody else. If they're get finishing like this, they need to make sure that they're not getting their hand all the way over there when the ball comes off their hand and facing that way. You see how that axis comes back at you. You need it to stay closer to the side so you would then keep your palm facing more towards 12 o'clock or 11 or 10 o'clock depending on how much side rotation you have or side rotation you want. So if you really think about your hand being a clock, 12, 6, 3, 9, and where you move your hand in the ball, where you move these points, that's how you create your rotation. So the next time you're practicing, see if you can't pay a little bit more attention to that. Find your axis point, put a piece of tape on it, and watch how that thing rolls in the front part of the, of the lane, and you can see how you can manipulate it a little bit. So I hope that helps you to understand it a little bit more. If it doesn't, you can always get a hold of me and we'll try and talk about it a little bit more and see if we can't help you a little bit. So uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and until next time, I will see you guys later.